Ladies and gentlemen, my name is DJ Chevy, and I'm here to introduce Icon. Hello. Hey, how are you? How was your day? My day was great. Good, good. How'd you get the name Icon? In like August of 2010, I was at the studio with one of my good friends, Migo. I knew her my whole life. It's one of my cousin Jay's best friends. And we was at the studio with Collage Dang, and we recorded a track called It's Migo. And he was like, you need a name. And I was like, I like my name. And he was like, no, you need a name. We won't call you Icon. I was like, yeah, I like that. <laughs> and it just stuck ever since. That's nice that you got it the first go around. A lot of people go through different names throughout their careers. I used to go by Nikki, to be honest. Yeah. I didn't have a name. I never had like an alias or anything. So, so what is it that you do in music? I sing and I rap, and I could play the piano, but I'm not professionally trained. Okay, so would you say you're stronger as a rapper or as a singer? As a singer. How long have you been singing? I've been singing since I was like nine years old. Rapping? I've been rapping <laughs> since I was like 16. Yeah. How'd you get started? Let's let's go on the rap end. How did you get started rapping? Um, about 2003, 2004, me and a group of friends used to be in the hallway freestyling like dudes. <laughs> it started off singing. Like we used to sing songs like Alicia Keys and Keisha Cole and all that. And then we used to just play along with it and just start rapping. And that's when I realized I could really rap. Okay. <laughs> so you mentioned you, your girl, Cypher. How is it, how how do you feel being a female rapper in a male-dominated genre? It doesn't bother me. Because I'd rather be around dudes than females. And not only just that, like, I have a strong personality. I'm not like, like, a, like a little weak girl. Like, I come off aggressive, so it, it doesn't really bother me. Like, it's all music to me. So, it, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. How did you hear the 412 Coalition? I heard about it through Gutter Radio. I know Gutter for a long time, too. And I heard about it through there. And I know 700, too. I knew it on forever. <laughs> like, they watched me grow up. They remember when I was, like, diapers. But they told me about it. And I was like, hey. I mean, like, for a while, I was wait Actually, I was really waiting for something like this to happen. In Pittsburgh, to be honest, because there's no unity here. Like, so, of course, I wanted to be down off top. I was just like, I'm with it. <laughs> being a singer, because we, we talked about the rapper aspect of you. Being a singer, who are your top five artists as, as singers? Okay, I gotta start from five to one. Five would be. I can't even go in the order. I'm just say it. I like Monica. I grew up with some Monica. I love Monica. Um, I like Leisha Keys. Uh, as two. I love Carrie Hilson. I do. I love Carrie Hilson. She's one of my faves. And my top two is Mary J. Blige and Lauryn Hill. Okay. I love them. So you kind of fall under a Lauryn Hill type of being able to do both. Mm-hmm. Cool. If you weren't doing music, what would you be doing? Um, I really don't know. Because when I start getting serious about music, start writing music, I was in a bad place. And music, me making music, just made me go through it easier. Like how I started, like, I've been singing and rapping and all that, but I didn't really take it seriously, you know, until, like, like I, I, I put myself in a situation and I just started making music after that because it, it kept me sane. So I really don't know. So you use it in, in a therapy type of... Man. Right. We want to go back to the rapper. 
<laughs> this is nice because I get to talk to the rapper, I get to talk to the singer. So we can go back to the rapper. What does hip hop mean to you? Hip hop means to me like the struggle of us as black people. Like it started out, well, it started out as like basement parties and and like break dancing and stuff like that. That's how I look at hip hop. Hip hop's not like that no more. It's commercial. It's I don't know. I don't even know. But that's how I look at hip hop. Like I look at it from like nineteen seventy hip hop. They hit it like <laughs> that's how I look at hip hop. Cause that's that's the birth of it. that's where it came from. And I always look at hip hop like that. I mean I'm young, but you know, I just that's how hip hop became what it was. So hip hop was started off as a way to us to express ourselves. And it's its own genre, like like there's there's no other genre out there besides poets, like poetry, like stand up poets and they snap. Like hip hop's beautiful, like it's so unique. Like you don't hear like now everybody wanna be a rapper, like you know what I mean? Like hip hop is beautiful. It's I don't know, it's just beautiful. <laughs> what do you bring to the coalition? What do I bring to the coalition? Um, as far as what? What do you offer <clears throat> if, if we had a large Thanksgiving dinner and, and you got invited? Most people know that you bring a side or you bring a dessert or you may bring some beverages because you've been invited to this place to sit down and have a meal. Right. I'm asking... You've gotten involved with the 412 Coalition, and you're sitting at the table with all the other members. What do you bring to the table to share with everyone else? Not only just my music, I feel like I want to keep the movement going. I want to be part of the body. Like, you know how it's a group? It's, I mean, it's people, individuals, but it, it's a body. I just want to be part of that body. I want to keep the movement going with everybody else. And if I got to stand alone, I will do that. You know, like, I feel like it's so much negativity. To be part of something positive, like the coalition, it it means a lot to me. Because I'm used to being around negative things and doing negative things. So to be part of something positive, it, it's, it's beautiful to me. So I just want to be part of the body, like... I can't even just say me because it's not just about me because it's a group. So I just want to be part of the body. Maybe an arm or a finger or something. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But I, just part of the body of the coalition. That's how I feel. Finish this statement for me. I will be successful when? I will be successful when I conquer my demons and do what I need to do and be comfortable with what I do and do it well. Like, it's, but what I mean when I say that is, like, when I get to the point in my life where I'm really established, not even just money-wise, mentally, too, where I could just sit back and just be like, oh, I did it. Like, you can't tell me nothing. That's when I'll be successful. And it's not even just music, whatever I'm doing. Well, thank you, Icon. Thank, thank you for being a part of the 412 Coalition. And <laughs> just like you said, being a part of the body is, is the most important part. A, a, a little finger is just as important as an arm. Right, a, a fingernail. Arm, right, it, it's, it's <laughs> a part, being a part. And thank you for being a part. Thank you, and um, thank you for letting me be a part. I appreciate that. I really do. I love the Coalition. I'm going to get a tap right here. I'm just <laughs> <laughs>